So can you track a Facebook pixel on the get response landing pages? The answer is going to be yes, as it shows you right here. I'm going to go through this article very quickly and show you how to set it up at the same time. But I also want to read the important snippets here. So you can add the Facebook pixel ID to your new or existing landing pages. We offer a simple way to include the tracking code on your landing page. Okay, so what I did is just scroll down a little bit to the important part. Up above this, it shows you how to kind of get your pixel on Facebook and so on and so forth. That part's going to be easy to do and figure out, but this is the important part when it comes to get response. So how to enable the Facebook pixel on your account. Once you've connected your Facebook account, we'll list all of your Facebook pixels. If you don't have any, we will create one for your personal ad account. When you enable Facebook pixel tracking on your landing page, we'll automatically add the code snippet to your page. In order to enable the Facebook pixel for the entire account, here's what we need to do. So go to integrations and API. What you're going to do is click on the tools section and right here is going to be integrations and API. We are there right now. Okay. Find the Facebook pixel integration and click on it. Now this is going to be right here because mine is already connected. But if you scroll down a little bit, it'll be right by like the Facebook ones. In fact, I'm going to click on this just to show you. It's going to show like exactly like this. Of course, it's going to have Facebook pixel here and different stuff. You're going to want to click on the connect button and that will connect you to your Facebook account so they can get your pixel as well. That would be the next step. It says click connect and go through the Facebook authorization process, which I talked about. Once connected, you can choose which Facebook pixel you'd like to assign by going to the actions menu, vertical ellipses, and clicking set as active. So if I go back here, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is once it's connected and has your pixel and so on and so forth. So it has uh, James Canzanella for James Canzanella's pixel configured in use. Okay. Now there's a little bit more. It says once set is active, the pixel, the picked pixel will be automatically added to all landing pages. You can create additional Facebook pixels in your Facebook account to track multiple pages. This is important. You'll need to enter the pixel by hand when you edit the analytics and remarketing settings for your page. To do that, visit the next section, which I'm going to show you. Okay, so this is how you can actually create additional Facebook pixels in your account to track multiple pages. This is going to be the next section right here. Very easy to do. I'm going to walk you through this as well. That's what the video is for, right? So log into your GetResponse account and do one of the following. So let's create a dummy landing page just to show you here. So I'm going to select this template. Let's just call it FB. Let's go to the next step. Keep in mind, I'm not going to edit any of the landing page. I just want to show you how to get to where you need to. Okay, when you're happy with your landing page layout, click next step and proceed to my landing page settings. So let's just say we did all this. It looks great. I'm going to click on next step. Yes, I'm just going to proceed without mobile versions because we're just going towards uh, where we can add in the pixel section. Okay, and this is going to be it. So if I scroll down a little bit towards the bottom, and I click on the analytics and remarketing, that's going to be what we're looking for. So right here, scroll down and expand the analytics and remarketing section, select Facebook pixel from the list and enter the Facebook pixel ID, the 15 digit number. So let's do Facebook pixel. And this is where it can go right here. Paste your Facebook pixel ID. So that's going to be how you can actually enter that in the 15 digit uh, number right there. And it's showing you right here where we are pretty much in the other tab. But overall, that's going to be how you can add your Facebook pixel to your get response landing page or just your landing pages in general, uh, depending on if you want more uh, pixels to track other events and so on and so forth. But that's about it. That's the very quick tutorial. I hope that helps you out when it comes to adding that to your get response landing pages. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, or maybe you're watching and you haven't gotten the checkout get response. They do come with a free account. I will put a link to that in the description as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.